Hi, this is Sumin Han from Gianna's lab at KAIST. Today I'm going to tell you about analyzing the erosion mechanism of the cemented soil using the coupled CFDDM method. At the bridge pier or embankment, as a result of the erosive action of flowing water, the excavation and removal of materials occurs. This is defined as the soil erosion. This erosion can cause severe damage to underwater structures by reducing the steepness of foundation. Accordingly, several techniques have been used to increase the soil erosion resistance, including chemical feeding method, use of carbon materials, and piling. Among them, MICP has received increased attention as a new, green, economic, and sustainable technique. This is biogeochemical process which uses chemical and microorganisms to improve soil properties. The detailed process of carbonate precipitation are as follows. The produced carbonate accumulates at particle contacts, contribute to additional cementation and increase soil erosion resistance. This is well known, but study of how and how much it increases the soil erodibility is still limited. Therefore, we try to study how the calcite increases the soil erodibility from the particle level analysis. To describe the soil erosion behavior, the fluid flow and particle motion are needed. The fluid is modeled with CFD by solving the Navier-Stokes equation, and the particle motion is modeled with EM based on Newton's law. By combining these two models, the interactions between these two phases are achieved with coupling terms. The open source codes are used in this study. In CFD, the boundary and initial conditions can be controlled, and in DEM, the particle physical properties and interparticle properties can be controlled. By using the bonding model, the cemented materials like calcite can be described. When we expose the soil particle to the fluid flow, the motion of the soil particles are determined by the force caused by the water flow, and this particle motion also affected the fluid flow. More detailed safety DEM interaction is as follows. The DEM solver calculates the particle properties. Based on this information, the fluid flow is analyzed. The fluid forces acting on the particles are obtained and sent to the DEM solver. This routine is repeated. From the simulation, we can get the fluid properties like fluid velocity, pressure, void fraction, and particle properties like particle location, velocity, applied force. Using this information, the erosion mechanism can be defined.